so as i uh, mentioned in the previous module that in the previous module i spoke about very very briefly the theory and the background about joins and in this module i will talk you and i will show you i will walk the talk about how we use php to perform the join operation and i will actually write the code you will see the code and you will see the results and you will understand that what is the benefit of the join operation in the prior module or in the previous module i showed you i told you i explained to you that why we split the tables and then we have to join the tables so right now in this module we will talk about using php to actually perform the join now before we uh, perform the join i will uh, very very briefly speak about some of the useful commands which are required because when we display the results there is a kind of a pre precedence or which is called as a collation when we st when the strings are used so this is about the string processing so let me explain it to you in more detail so we have this over here what we call as the binary attributes and collations so it means that uh, if i retrieve results from the database so they are sorted displayed in alphabetical ordering if i order them of course if i order them so something starting with a comes first then something starting with b comes at the second which is followed by a and by default if it's b or capital b they are treated the same number 1 number 2 is that if i run a query and retrieve something starting with capital b or starting with small or lower case b it will not the engine will not differentiate right to add functionality what we do is we use the binary attribute binary attribute after the variable which we are using so when we use this binary attribute then the precedence is set or the correlation is set right and there's a difference between small b and capital b there's a difference between banana starting with small b and difference between banana starting with capital b so that is one thing the other thing is the unique constraint the unique constraint what it does it is similar to the primary key which creates an index and there is no repetition on the column within the column for which the primary key is applied the same is true for the unique constraint but there are differences also unique constraint is slightly different there are two differences of unique constraint as compared to primary key that i will go into the detail when we go towards the detail of this uh, this particular module about this running and performing the joins using php and then is the enum data type this is enumeration so what it is saying is that in this column which is text column we can only have certain strings for example in the gender column we can only have male or female and for the say for example it is the type of movie we can only have the fiction or we can only have comedy and so on so that is the enum so this is the types which we assign to the columns and use these commands to ensure those columns are there okay then of course when we retrieve the data from the database using the sql commands uh, we can reduce the number of rows we can order them we can group them we can sort them we can summarize them we can do all sorts of those things right and remember that these things are not happening on your client end on client end you make the request that request is passed through the second tier which is the uh, your application tier and then go to the database tier and from there the the results are are sent to the web server and the pages are generated so uh, this is more which i will be covering and this this part very interesting part uh, which we will cover in the detail part where we create the forms for this fictitious uh, book store which i'll be talk about so right now i'll be talking about some details about pulling data from multiple tables so let's look at some examples and let's look at some code over here so over here let's look this is the command over here this is the mysql prompt over here and i would like to know that how many pages okay what were the urls for which the pages were accessed so i get only number 4 that is fine but what is not fine is uh, uh, is i really don't know which people accessed which pages 
so i change the code okay so instead of from this message log i also look at the member id okay and from the access log so i have this access log also and now i am counting the page url so what i get this is the member id okay this is the member id over here 1 3 and 6 and we see that this member has access to pages now that is useful information but that is not very interesting information why because it is very difficult to connect the member id with the member itself especially when i have tens of thousands of members right so this query over here this lists all the first names and the last names of my members so for the sake of simplicity and the size of the screen we are only showing uh, results from a very small database so you can see that we have these members okay and we have the six or seven members over here and now we know that member one is john okay and we know that member three is and so on who is member six and so on so these are all the members now up till now we have not applied the join over here up till now up till we now we have not applied the join over here so what i'll do is now i will apply the join you can see the results so this is the join this is the join over here this is the join over here okay so i have now used the join and based upon this join now i have the link between the member id and the member name so now i have very useful information so you see uh, in this module what we did was that i showed you very briefly that what we are looking at and then the limitations of what we are getting and then we apply the join and get the results and if you recall in the first module of the course i spoke about i talked about i gave you the idea that we are going to use a hands-on approach we are going to open the hood and fix the problem over there and we are going to have an understanding so this is the step by step approach of the understanding which will be following in this course and of course you are welcome to ask questions and we will be very happy to answer your questions.